This is a five inch gulp jerk shad. TT, three eighth ounce size two heavy gauge. Gonna put this on now. Gonna have a flick for flatties like I said. Gotta be one of my favorite flatty plastics. As you guys know, if you watch my live streams, really slays in the bay of botany there we go not too bad pretty straight good hook exposure right strong strong wind that's why i need this lead really really heavy it's going to keep that wind um, under control i'm heading out towards the front of the break wall there botany bay you guys know where it is it's gonna be a fun session. I'm chasing flatties. Got the big boy here, the Stella. And my G Loomis NRX comes out for special occasions. 852S, three to six, three to 12 pound rod. Sorry, six to 12 pound rod. So how do we start off with a big long cast as always? I'm right out there gonna let it hit the bottom that line will go slack the second it hits the bottom that wind is right behind me at an angle come from the right that slack is coming now I'm on the bottom commence my flathead double double lift gonna add a little bit more pepper to this one because it's a bit it's a bit windy and I want that action to come through um, they don't mind an aggressive retrieve as well and I have a 3 8 lead lead head on anyway so pretty pretty heavy lead for this kind of lure but they won't mind it as long as I get to the bottom I'm getting great distance yeah just make sure you wind in that slack in, in, the, in these conditions know where your line is you could really get massive wind wind knots and tangles and yeah i just swapped um oh that was weed i think right in right in just off that section there with with visible um weed the brown weed yeah lou is still good couple of hits you can see it's got you can see it's got some damage up the top here right near the hook end and at the tail so i think leather jackets have been chomping on it or taylor all right i see a little bit of a bust up in front of me there i don't know if they're going to hit it though probably just taylor schools all right it must be taylor because we just lost our tail here i'm going to spin it quickly i have a feeling it's just taylor out this way right with the chopped tail it's coming off i'm going to try something small and clear because i think that's the best match right now that i've got in my bag with me for what i think would be really small bait that they're feeding on hopefully it's small clearish natural looking bait well obviously natural but um you get the point they're fixated on something that's my idea right now so that's where the pal bait minnow three inch at 15 per pack here um kaz clear comes in caught some really nice fish on this and this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before i've used it a few times in my videos up in queensland caught a queen fish you know not far off a meter on just this can you imagine that massive fish on tiny plastics all right it's a bit of a difficult rig when the plastic is a lot smaller than the shank of the hook but i think that's a really good effort so we're going to give this a throw as is you know what two casts in i'm not feeling it bus stops are stopped we're going to walk around and continue our plan initially we're chasing flatty so i kind of got sidetracked with those bus stops amounted to nothing but i could tell you they were taylor most likely taylor probably around the 25 30 centimeter size I'm going to see bus stops right behind that boat there. You can see that. There's no way you can reach that. Just hoping for predators to be underneath those schools. 
but I don't think there's anything underneath them right now and they're scattered they're moving around like shroom is we'll try out this way there we go on 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 skis thumping thumping flatty my call and I'm right yes I'll grab him up for you guys before I slip in that's what did the damage here this plastic this guy took this plastic here three, three inch power bait cas clear actually that's a really heavy jig head we'll take him back take him back now oh that's a little bit of a spiky spike I'm better rub it on his belly ah. Always get spiked, guys. <laughs> so bad. We'll walk it down. I'm not going to throw it from here. We'll throw it down a little bit lower. So just bear with me. We're going down, down over these rocks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think this should be all right. Nice little dusky. We'll throw him back. See you later. Thought he was going to hang on the on the shoreline. Whoa. Oh, what a beautiful day. Check it out. That sun. Nice. So we're at the. We're, we're down down at the boat ramp no good so that's why we're back here so as you guys could probably tell right now no flatties at the boat ramp saw a few tailor schools and a bit of bait but no action so switch spots first couple of casts on the Stella two and a half thousand let me just get that up uh, tangled up against some weed come on get off there check that leader all right pretty good That'll last. That's 14 pound, guys. That's going to hold. Unless I hook onto a monster. Which, you know, it's actually quite possible out here. Because I'm not using light gear right now. You can still catch good fish on the light brim gear. On the medium gear. We've got a bit more power. A bit more go in this combo. To turn the heads of a nice fish. Let's hope we put it to the test today. Spray's nice and smooth. So just a little tap on that drop there and I struck hanging out in that current just out in the middle nice winter's day doesn't feel like winter right now the wind certainly does but air temperature uh, working up the sweat here Let's walk around maybe jog around got to get the next fish guys got to get the next fish what's that did a bird drop something not sure, bit of a splash there, we'll keep an eye on that. Oh, big on. Picked it up. Oh, big on. Big on, guys. Something. Oh, it's, could it be a Jewy. Could it be a Jewy? Is it gonna run? Is it gonna run? Oh, I slipped. Oh my God, what's this? What is that? Oh my gosh. What's going on? What's going on guys? Could be a Jewy this one, I don't know. Trevally Jewy holding its ground. No salmon. Oh nice salmon. Whew, heart rate was going crazy there. Thought it might have been your secret silver. That's gotta be a salmon. Because it jumped. Oh it's going hard in the current there. Let's bring it in this way before I lose it. Wow, it's got so much power still. You tie drag, guys. Tie drag here. No, it is a Jewy. Is it a Jewy? No, it's got to be a. I'm so bad, guys. My eyesight is horrendous. Of course, it's a salmon. It's all right. All good. You're all good. Yeah, I just got to go around here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Alright, last run, there we go. You should should tie right here. Rocks, keep that line up. Oh no, don't touch that rock. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna muscle it in here. 36. Oh my gosh, I can't get it in. You know what? We'll hop down here. I'll stand on that rock there. If it likes this rock, we'll get him here. Right, no high stick in my NRX. Oh my gosh. Should be a good hook up top but it's a bit jumped a few times there we go there we go there we go there we go oh my gosh 
Guys, hit the thumbs up on the video. Salmon, here it comes. Here it is. I just need to get my right hand on it. I needed a longer arm there, guys. There we go. Actually, that's not bad. All right, here we go. Grab the tail. You guys, salmon, check it out. Chasing flatties, my plastic inhaled right there on the top. Fantastic. Thanks to the gentleman for getting out of the way there. I almost stuffed that up. I was taking too long. <laughs> Thanks for that. At me, I think. Is it red? Uh, yeah, it's red. Recording. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm going to do this. What's your name? Uh, Paul. Alright guys, we've got Paul. He's helping me. He's helping film so I can get a good shot of the salmon. Woo, look at that. Not, not a bad one. What do you reckon, Paul? Yeah, that's a good size to catch it over here. <laughs> yeah, just on the on, on my NRX Shimano Stella combo. Um, I'm so happy, Paul. <laughs> I'm that happy. Fight there. <laughs> yeah, that plastic three three inch um, Berkeley Palbait Cas Clear on a TT half uh, three eighth ounce. It's gonna hook the fish now, right at the top there. Pop, pops it out. Can't put the cellar down in the water, guys. Woo. Let's go get it. It's ready to go. What do you reckon, Paul? Yeah, let him go. <laughs> See you later, buddy. There he goes. Never in any doubt. Salmon kick off well. Yes! Right, so quite a few people along the wall now. I don't know, I think you guys should be able to see it from that second camera I've got over there. Still plugging away. But anyway, I'll run you through the technique. I'm just doing double, double lift. So you know what? Since I've got the camera set up there, guys, I will show you the technique in greater detail. So that's the lure there. As you guys know, Kaz clear, three inch, three eighth ounce, big long cast. Stop it from hitting the water. Flick over the bail arm. Make sure you wind up the slack as it's falling. Like, sh like, like so. See that second that line, that belly just comes right into it. That's when it's hit the bottom and that's when I do a double lift and I wind in the slack. And that's pretty much what I do. I just wait till it hits the bottom again. I probably should have just explained with that last lift there. My lure's getting dragged out, but I know it's on the bottom. Double lift, wind into the slack and repeat the process. If you're not sure, maybe just count to like three, count to five, 110%. It's on the bottom. Um, let me wind this back in real quick. You can see why I've chosen this spot here. Because out in front here, just moments ago, you'll see bait flickering up and down. So there's a bait ball here. So this is my magnet. This is gonna pull in the fish. And that's why I've kind of staked out here for the moment with that sun setting. Hopefully get one more fish. If we don't, you know, we don't. We've already got a really nice salmon with that retrieve that you just saw and a flathead early in the day. Look at that fella's big puffer. Big puffer is coming for a look. He's definitely still alive. He's facing the right way up. It doesn't look like he's alive. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't look too healthy, does he, guys? That big, like, how big is he? Two inches? No. That is 35, 40 centimeters. That's massive. That's a massive puffer. Good luck, guy. Good luck, fella. Right, guys. While I'm perched up here on this rock, gonna call the end of the session. Thanks for watching, guys. Nice day out. Everyone going along the wall now for that last bit of light. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. More to come every Thursday, as you guys know. I'll see you in the next video.